Capricorn. This is your reading for financing career for August 2022. Please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading hypnosis, whatever I do. Please also visit EnchantedSky.com. You can book a reading there. Also, Metaphysical Mandarins, that's where all those predictions are. Getting really hot on TikTok. I'm gonna, I'm backlogged, you guys. Like, wow. Thank you for all your support. Anyway, also visit Metaphysical Meanderings, that's my podcast. That's where you will find it. So it's on Saturday mornings live at 9.30 a.m. Central. Also, uh, Astrology Gumbo. Find your natal chart before you call me. It'll make life easier for all of us, right? Uh, joke of the day. So why is a bicycle always fatigued? Because it's too tired. There's your joke. I, it made me laugh, so I know it's stale, but yeah. Anyway, all right, Cap. So let's see what we get for us today, all right? All right. Yeah, trying to go ahead with something. You've been a little, you've been a little um, under the weather or a little bit financially strapped. And I know with the recession, they keep saying it's not a recession. They're full of garbage. Anyway, um, it is now, here's my prediction. It's going to slow down. And um, I predicted that in my podcast, I believe in January, that the re recession, that the, the economy and all the prices would slow down. So anyway, um, you know, you're seeking, you know, you're going to pick, cut your losses. Okay. You're trying to cut your losses, go forward. You know, something's not working and you're trying to figure out what you're going to do next. And it's just not working anymore. And you're going to try to figure out how to make your garden grow. And you may have downtime. Here's you watching money. I want to say this is investments. Cappies, come on. We all, we're cappies. We, we usually are the business people of the Zodiac. We get money. You're moving money around. You're intuitively smart with it. Now, the way you think it's going to go isn't like the maybe how it's going to end up. So, you know, you're thinking you're going to have all this luck and... Even though this card upside down is still lucky, it's still be careful with the investments. Be careful with everything, okay? Because you are, this is around you. That's happily ever after. And that's that's long-term success too oh, for family. So it could be family generational wealth. So don't go to, they're telling you, don't go too fast. I think that that's what this is. Be very careful who you're trusting and looking, you're looking for your changes. Now, this is, an, this is the change card. Upside down is the inability to make change. So you need to make the changes. Just be very, very careful how and where you're doing it. Okay. Don't just, um, you know, we're usually planners. I don't know about you, but I will like make a list. I like to mark my things off because that's a Capricorn thing. And um, they're telling you not whatever you do, be very cautious and careful. Don't make too many. Ha um, when you make the decision, stick with it, but don't make it too rash. That's kind of what the cards are saying. Okay, so let's see what we get. We're going to pull these now. Prosperity does lie ahead. So there you go. See? Bring love into the situation. You'll never go wrong. Communication is key. Make sure you're communicating back and forth. If you've got an advisor, if you need to move money around, whatever you need to do, don't overspend. Be careful with what you're doing. You kind of like this is stuff that you, I'm sure you know, but it's a reminder. You're going to have to make adjustments. See? And step out of your comfort zone a little. Maybe you need to move some money around in a place you've never thought of before or something different in a different way. Okay? Emotions are running high. So this is an emotional thing too for you. So I do want to say if you're careful this year, this, this second half of the year could be pretty good for everybody if we're all careful. Because like I said, I feel the prices of everything are coming down. I did predict that the gas had come down. Here it's come down over a dollar. So, um, and I predicted that. So about, about a month ago, I believe, uh, before it happened. So I think it was on my June uh, prediction. I do two times a year with my predictions and I have to wait to see them come true. But I said uh, first week of July. No, no. First uh, last uh, mid-June, I believe, that, that the prices would come down. So and that's going to adjust everything. And we're going to have it's going to it's going to slow down. So be careful of what you're doing. OK, and just keep keep watching. Blessings. <laughs>